right, so let's walk through the house. We're gonna start with upstairs first. We gotta put our shoe covers on. All right, so now with our shoe covers on, we're gonna go upstairs. We have the master bedroom here. Ceilings go pretty high. Pretty big bed. Simple TV here. Big closet, of course. Private balcony here. Kind of private. There's the other owner's balcony, but you can see the backyard. Here we have the bathroom. It's a really nice. Pretty neat. Lighter colors on everything. Sheets, lighter. Furniture, lighter. Walls are white. Everything in here, lighter colors. It keeps guests more conscious of getting things dirty because really anything that you do, if you're not being conscious, it's gonna get dirty. If with darker furniture, with darker sheets, darker things overall, it is easier to get things dirty, overlook it, and not pay too much of attention. All right, so we're gonna walk to the next room here. We have two twin beds, smart switches here as well. Um, you could put these together if you are if you wanted to, but it's pretty convenient having two separate beds when you're trying to fit kids. We have the option here, and again, you can see the theme. These are, these are also really good beds, um, but also the theme, very light, light colors, all around, light sheets, Another TV here, every room has a TV. Simple closet. Here they have access to an iPad. There's cameras and security system. They get a password, they get the code. To see all the security cameras that are property. Here we have another room. This is the third and final room. Again, light sheets, light furniture. Everything is just lighter, easier to tell things get dirty. King size bed, very comfortable. Another TV, of course, closet, pretty simple. And then we have the bathroom for these two separate rooms because the master has his own bathroom, pretty clean. Everything's white, everything is light, lighter colors, towels. All right, so moving downstairs, you walk in from the front door. This is essentially the first thing you see. Very nice couch. Furniture, little desk here for anyone that can use it. Even if they don't use it, it's just cool. It's just nice to have. Again here, even if they don't use it, it's a cool thing to have. Just goes. Dining room table. Pretty simple kitchen. Everything's nice. We got LED strips up there. People leave stuff in here. There's there's ramen, some cooking things. People leave stuff. We have food scale. People really appreciate that. On the review, of course. Nothing in the freezer. People do leave stuff in the fridge. Here we have the living room. Everything in here is quality furniture. It'll pay for itself eventually and we'll get into the numbers. Downstairs we also have another bathroom. This one's pretty simple. Laundry room. To furnish this place, it was roughly $18,000 that includes the couches, table, nightstands, the beds, dining room table. It was roughly around $18,000 to furnish this place. And the mortgage was $1,200 with insurance. Uh, since then, it has gone down because 80% of the loan value is un under 80% of the loan value. So now it's $1,120. $1 yeah, $1,120 per month. Now that's the mortgage. Uh, the loan balance is about roughly $140,000 current. And the townhouse, the property is now worth $240,000, $250,000. On average, it'll bring in about $2,600, $2,500, and on the high end, it would be about $3,000 a month. But yeah, that's just a quick walkthrough of the place, Quick, some quick numbers, just a quick overview. Um, yeah, we're getting ready for a, 
Airbnb, a $500,000 house, 3,000 square foot. So, and we're gonna test run that for about three months. Definitely be doing a video on that. Uh, numbers, videos on that on that property. And then of course a lot more, a lot more to come as we ramp up here.